Ever get lost in a new city? Frustrating, right? Introductions are like maps for your writing. They guide readers, showing them what to expect and why they should care. Without a good introduction, your brilliant ideas might get lost. Think about your favorite books or articles. What grabbed you from the start? Chances are the author hooked you with a compelling question, a surprising fact, or a relatable anecdote. They made you curious. They made you want to keep reading. But introductions aren't just for entire pieces of writing. Each section needs its own mini introduction. Why? Because readers need those guideposts along the way. They need to know what each section is about and how it connects to the bigger picture. So how do you write introductions that grab readers and don't let go? That's what we're going to explore in this essay. Get ready to master the art of the opener. Each section of your writing is like a new scene in a movie. Just as a director carefully plans each scene to ensure the story flows smoothly, you must do the same with your writing. Imagine a movie suddenly jumping to a different location and time without any context. Confusing, right? This abrupt change can leave the audience bewildered and disconnected from the story. That's what it's like for a reader when a new section appears out of the blue. They lose track of the narrative and struggle to understand the connection between ideas. A strong section introduction provides that crucial context. It acts as a bridge, guiding the reader smoothly from one idea to the next. It tells readers where they are in the story or argument. This orientation helps them follow your train of thought and stay engaged with your writing. It reminds them of the main point and sets the stage for what's to come. Just like setting up a stage for a play, you need to prepare your readers for the next part of your narrative. But how do you make these section introductions engaging? How do you capture your reader's attention right from the start? One effective technique is to start with a question. Questions naturally pique curiosity and invite the reader to think. For example, if you're writing about different types of essay introductions, you might ask, ever wonder why some essays grab you from the first sentence while others fall flat? This question immediately engages the reader and sets the stage for your discussion. See what we did there? By posing a relatable question, we drew you into the topic and made you curious about the answer. We posed a relatable question that directly connects to the topic of this section. This technique not only engages the reader, but also provides a clear focus for the section. Now we need to answer it. Providing a thoughtful and well-structured answer keeps the reader engaged and satisfied. The answer, of course, lies in the importance of crafting compelling introductions that pique the reader's interest and set the tone for the entire piece. A well-crafted introduction can make all the difference in how your writing is received. Before we move on to the next section, which delves into the art of asking effective questions, take a moment to reflect on what you've learned so far. Think about your own experiences with section introductions. What techniques have you found most effective in engaging your readers? What makes a section introduction stand out to you? Is it a question, a bold statement, or a compelling anecdote? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your insights could help others improve their writing and create more engaging content. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They have the unique ability to transform a piece of text from a monologue into a dialogue. They transform passive readers into active participants, making the reading experience more dynamic and engaging. When you ask a question, you invite readers to pause, reflect, and come up with their own answers. This interaction creates a deeper connection between the reader and the content. This makes them feel more involved in the reading process, almost as if they are part of a conversation, rather than just consuming information passively. But not all questions are created equal. The effectiveness of a question depends on its relevance and the way it is framed. To truly engage your readers, you need to ask the right questions. These questions should be thought-provoking, relevant to the topic, and sometimes even a bit surprising. These are the questions that make readers stop and think, sparking their curiosity and encouraging them to delve deeper into the subject matter. Let's say you're writing about the benefits of exercise. A rather dull question might be, what is exercise? This question is too basic and doesn't engage the reader's curiosity or interest. A more engaging question could be, what if you could improve your mood, boost your energy, and even live longer, all by doing one simple thing? This question is intriguing and hints at the benefits of exercise. Do you see the difference? The second question sparks curiosity and hints at the benefits discussed in the section. It makes the reader want to learn more, creating a sense of anticipation and engagement. And the answer, of course, is regular exercise. 
This not only provides the information but also reinforces the benefits in a compelling way. By framing your questions effectively, you can guide your readers through the content, making the experience more interactive and enjoyable. Asking the right questions is like having a conversation with your reader. You pose a question, provide the answer, and then invite them to share their own thoughts and experiences. This two-way interaction makes the reading experience more personal and engaging, fostering a deeper connection between the reader and the writer. Speaking of which, we'd love to hear from you. What are some of your favorite ways to engage readers with questions in your own writing? Share your insights in the comments. Your experiences and tips can help others improve their writing and engage their readers more effectively. Remember, the right questions can transform your writing and create a more interactive and enjoyable experience for your readers. So, start incorporating thoughtful questions into your writing and watch how it transforms your readers' engagement. Calls to action and surveys keeping readers involved. You've crafted engaging introductions, asked thought-provoking questions, and now it's time to take reader engagement to the next level. How? By incorporating calls to action and surveys. These tools are not just add-ons, they are essential elements that can transform your content from static to dynamic. Think about your favorite websites or blogs. Do they simply present information or do they encourage you to take action? The best websites do more than just inform. They invite you to participate. Maybe they have comment sections, social media sharing buttons, or even quizzes and polls. These interactive elements are designed to keep you engaged and make you feel like a part of the community. These are all examples of calls to action. They are prompts that encourage you to take some form of action, whether it's leaving a comment, sharing a post, or participating in a poll. But why are calls to action so important? They serve as bridges between passive consumption and active participation, because they transform passive readers into active participants. When readers take action, they become more invested in your content. They give readers a way to engage with your content on a deeper level. This deeper engagement can lead to a more loyal and interactive audience. Instead of just consuming information, they can share their thoughts, contribute to the conversation, and even influence the direction of future content, and become part of a community. This sense of community can be incredibly powerful, fostering a sense of belonging and loyalty among your readers. Let's say you're writing about different writing techniques. You could ask your readers, what's your go-to writing tip that helps you overcome writer's block? This question not only invites readers to share their tips, but also creates a space for mutual learning. This simple question encourages readers to share their own experiences and learn from one another. It turns your blog into a collaborative space where everyone can contribute. Surveys are another powerful tool for engaging readers. They offer a structured way to gather insights and opinions from your audience. They allow you to gather valuable feedback, understand your audience better, and even tailor your content to their interests. This feedback loop can be invaluable for content creators. For example, you could create a short survey asking readers what topics they'd like to see covered in future blog posts. This not only shows that you value their input, but also helps you create content that resonates with your audience. For example, you could create a short survey asking readers what topics they'd like to see covered in future blog posts. This not only shows that you value their input, but also helps you create content that resonates with your audience. We're curious to know how you prefer to interact with online content. Your preferences can guide us in creating more engaging and interactive experiences. Do you enjoy leaving comments, participating in surveys, or sharing articles on social media? Each of these actions helps build a more interactive and engaging online community or sharing articles on social media. Sharing content helps spread the word and brings more people into the conversation. Let us know by taking our quick poll below. Your input is invaluable and helps us understand what you find most engaging. Your feedback will help us create even more engaging and interactive content in the future. By participating, you're helping to shape the content landscape and make it more interactive for everyone. Conclusion, your journey to writing mastery. As we've explored in this essay, mastering the art of writing involves paying attention to every detail, from the overall structure down to the individual sentences. Engaging introductions, both for the entire